right. 448. Dark out. Another day, another dollar. As you can see, my house is a mess. And I was actually going to take today off. I cleaned out a total of four storage units in the past like 24 hours, 30 hours. And my body hurts. But I have so much stuff, I cannot just afford to just take a day off and say, screw it, I want to sleep in. I need to sell this stuff so I can move stuff around because um, it is so bad. So the van's packed to what I was able to do. I'm leaving early. I have a lot of people who ask me, why do I leave so early? I don't want to leave early. It's just because my van is so large and I rent just for the day that I have to get my spot or a spot that I can kind of pull the van in and then pull the van out of whenever I want to. And I can't do that when other people are already set up because of the size of my van. So I'm leaving early and hopefully going to get my spot. Hopefully no one took it, but doesn't matter. Let's make it a fun day and see what happens. And then hopefully whenever I get finished with everything, I come back and do some cleaning because this is beyond driving me nuts. I have to do something about it. So let's get into it. Let's make it a fun day. See what happens. See what people buy. See if people buy a lot. Hopefully they buy a lot because I got to get rid of all this abandoned storage stuff that I've been buying. And I have so much. Saul says in the hallway, come here. Be a star. Not very happy with. <laughs> you always look so miserable. Everyone says the dog looks miserable. Her tail's going a little. Uh, it was going. Everyone says she looks so miserable at times. It's uh, She's just a very dramatic dog. That's her thing. Anyway, let's make it a fun one and, and see what happens today. Let's do it. All right, maybe you can kind of see it, but we're here. Kind of can see it. All right, so fully unpacked. I don't think anyone stole anything, but I, you wouldn't know if it was stolen because you would have never seen it get stolen. If you saw it get stolen, you'd probably address. Anyway, I put this up front because I thought somebody would be a jerk and open this thing and then I'd have a huge mess. Um, but we, uh, yeah, we're unpacking. starting to get lighter up. Is that amazing? Some days I feel like I feel like it would never get light out. Just one of those kind of things, you know. It actually I got here and it was starting just starting to creep up. So I mean I guess like I've always said the days are getting a little bit longer. Been here a long time ago. Huh? Yeah I've been here a while. It scared me get out. Why would you run in here and just yell at me? Or yell to me. I don't know. I don't know. See this thing called consolidate my junk. That didn't sound right. Just sold a bunch of glassware. Some of them dug out. Oh, that's broken. Let's see if there's anything else that's broken in here. That's a tile. This came out of that storage unit from uh, December. These boxes, I know that. That's probably all. Yeah, that looks like garbage in there. It's broken also. Put that back inside. Uh, a lot of stuff. This uh, that sold. That sold. These are those Under Armour shoes I found in the trash from like a couple days ago. That's what those are. I think they also bought. They might have bought the black sneakers that were also in the trash. I think I took two pairs. I remember packing them. Packing them was its own ordeal. It's kind of a ghost town. You have your regular vendors, your regular people, but in terms of new people, I don't see one new car around here. Set up. I don't see the tote man either. So either he's coming late or... I don't see him down there. It's a different day for sure. I will have to walk and find myself honey. Even though 
I get really bad allergies. I don't know if the honey really actually helps because it seems to not have helped the last couple of years, but maybe it has, mine over matter. So that will be at the end of this video. But until then, I hope I sell some things. Hey, give me that box, you fit everything. You want this bag? This bag is not gonna fit everything. You want? You can take another bag. You don't gotta jam pack that. Yeah, yeah, take this one. Out. Out. Yeah. Oh, you want to take it like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. That bag is gonna rip. Hundred percent. Bag's gonna rip. Let's see if I have another bag. For this. It's not even my merch. Not even my merch. I'm giving someone a bag. Well, oh, I thought I was giving them a bag. Okay. Thank you. Yes, okay. Take care. Hey, how's it going? Morning. How are you? Hey, how are you doing? Good. That's all sold. All sold? Yeah, yeah. Three dollars is good. Three dollars. We have a guest appearance up here. Orange slices. Anyone's been an original fan. There he is. The man, the myth, the legend. He's been in since the very, very beginning. What's happened? Yeah, nice. The original. He's now a senior in high school. Is that crazy? So he's been here since, like, literally since I first started doing YouTube, he's been in my videos. That was, what, seven years ago. For people who might not have been with me for seven years, the orange slice thing comes from, there was one time he was eating oranges, and he literally threw orange slices everywhere in my van, and I was finding orange slices literally nonstop for about a week. He put it in a license plate holder, he put it everywhere, just being a nuisance. Uh, but that's how he got his name of Orange Slices. Now I guess he's like 17, 18, 19 years old. I think he's probably 18 or so. Time flies. Time flies. Alright, so it's kind of been an adventure of a day. It's you heard a million times it's freezing. Um, now it's time to pack up. I didn't sell this one thing, which I kind of wasn't expecting to sell. I had three people ask me about it. I always said it was a dollar, but it's one of those things that I just, I think people are more curious what it is. It's actually for basketballs. Um, it's to return a basketball. So you throw the basketball in there and it should shoot the basketball right back to you. But no one wanted to spend a dollar for it. And, you know, I'm well aware that I don't think it was the price. It's more about, like, do you need it or not need it slash want it. Yeah, I guess it's time to pack up, trying to consolidate and get everything out of these bins so I can keep these bins. Very good to haul around flea market stiff. That I can really easily just throw stuff in it, close it up, and just stack them. It's, it's not a problem when you're, you know, finding a lot of small items, but, like, if I find something like this on the road, you can have a whole bin system, but this is not fitting in a bin, so you got to keep that in mind. Alright, I'm gonna walk around a little bit and see what happens, but I don't know if there's really anything I even want out here. I need to get that that honey. The guy even the honey guy. I think he's usually over here somewhere. That's on the agenda today. Oh, you just 
Always amazed when people show up. All these bins of clothes. You got two people looking at them. Oh, they're all brand new with tags. Oh, they, they, they work here. <laughs> Solves a lot more of the questions that I had. I always say that it's very hard to sell kids' clothes. I thought people were actually buying kids' clothes. It's not true. Oh, I see the honey person. Let's hope good old Dave's Delights works wonders this year. This is one I get every year. So far, I mean, I haven't died yet, so that's always a start. All right, so I got my honey. It's not a, it's not a warmer here. Not like it really matters. I'm at the point right now where it doesn't, <laughs> nothing really matters. But um, I stopped off at the recycling place. But funny enough, I was here yesterday. So I went ahead and cleaned out a total of four storage units yesterday and the day before combined and then I just came here and dropped off all my recyclables yesterday I see a lot of paperwork from storage unit it doesn't look like anyone added anything else I know there was all this wood in here that's what it, I see wood over there and there's a lot of wood that was over here that's still here but I was going to seize the opportunity to drop off recyclables and see if there's anything else hiding in this lovely lot, but not really looking like a whole whole lot of stuff. Let's see if there's any cardboard boxes good for flea marketing. There isn't. I like the ones that are lower. So kind of like that, but um, yeah, kind of like that one down there. But that's not even a really a box. It looks like a... Uh, box to ship a laptop or something all right well I guess I'll unload all this stuff I got a bunch of books from uh, mark who was setting up next to me and he couldn't put it in his car he couldn't fit in his car he didn't know he was stressing out because he didn't know how he's going to get it home and I was like I'll just take them to the recycling place for you that's actually like these prime boxes are so good to ship things which is kind of like I don't know I don't need it I don't need it to ship anything right now not that I know of but they're great to ship things but then again I mean Amazon Prime is literally a shipping company when you think of it so obviously they'd be good boxes they got it down packed all right time to unload this stuff all right next on my journey No. <laughs> Maybe I'm just losing that. There we go. Bunch of tires. Free tires. Free tires. I uh, probably had a decent amount of tread on them. They had some, I don't know, it looked like white sidewall on them. Oh. Ah. Well, Alrighty then. Now we'll solve that. So I said I was going to do a little bit of drive around, see if I can find some scrap. This would be easier to put in the. I guess the back of the van. Back of the van's empty right now. Something next to it? No, that's just the back of the, the thing. I need to go ahead and buy new gloves. They have a huge hole in them. See that? Big hole right there. There's also a hole in the finger, which always happens. Is this all in the same? Yeah, it's my right glove is always the one. I don't know why. Right glove always gets destroyed. I've gone through like, probably like 50 pairs in my YouTube career with these gloves but 
I do use them literally every day, multiple times a day. So I guess you, oh, what do we do here? Uh, now it's unlocked. Sometimes I hate this man. It locks itself just like randomly, and I can't figure it out. Uh, time to struggle with this. I did just eat breakfast, so now this is probably gonna hurt on the old tummy, but tomato, tomato. Try to put this in on its side, that way I can still clip the cord that's on the bottom. That is vintage. I'll even show you which one it is. That's cool. It's getting flipped in. No round of applause from the neighbors. That thing's probably been out here for a while because there's literally all this water came out of it. And I can't remember the last. Oh, jeez. What the heck is that? Can't remember the last time it rained. Might be like three days ago, so. That could have been out here for a long time. Well, usually I'd probably save this just for the trash picking episode that I usually film later, but I can't just leave stuff around to like hopefully find it in a couple hours. Looks like we got some brass. What is this? Bowstick PM. Poly. What the heck is that? I have no idea what that is. I thought it was cat litter. I don't think it's cat litter. What is this? This is scrap. That's what that is. Oh, golf tees. Yes. Here's those. Got a truck coming down the road, so we'll wait for him to go. Golf tees. You guys know how much I go golfing every single year. It's kind of a joke. I don't think I've been golfing in three years, which is unfortunate. Well, just coming back from the flea market, but this would definitely sell at the flea market. That thing looks like it's missing pieces, so I'm leaving it. I don't know what that knockoff cat litter thing is, but it might even be like a biodegradable cat litter, but I have no clue what it is, so I'm not taking it. But if it's out here later, I do a little bit more research. I will grab it, but I'll probably forget by then. But you never know. I should probably look it up. Oh, well. well, in a blink of an eye, we are back. You guys want to see the amazing pile? This is it. So right here, not even a van load. Uh, I'm going to start pulling some of that stuff over. Some of that stuff from Leesport. I don't know really if clothes are going to sell too well. Um, I kind of wanted to bring them up to Leesport and sell them for a buck a piece. doesn't really matter to me where I sell them. Um, just clothes are so difficult, but I have a nice pile going on over here these are the golf clubs i found in the trash not too long ago when i was at leesport i had a bunch of people i had probably three or four people ask me if i had any golf clubs random thing same with uh i had a bunch of people also ask me probably three or four other people bunch of people um ask me if i had any vintage sports memorabilia or paper random 
you know, not trading cards, not baseball cards, hockey cards, whatever, like just paper, like receipts or uh, ticket stubs, uh, ma magazines, catalogs. One of those weird things where people ask you about something and you're like, no, nah, I don't have any of that. I get a lot of requests every day, like, do you have video games? Do you have, you know, comics? But vintage sports catalogs, magazines, not something I get asked a lot. And the fact that three people asked me, same with the golf stuff, I thought it was really interesting to me. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and add my tables over here to the collection. We have this walnut. This walnut was actually in one of the boxes back there. I saw it. I tried chucking it out the door. It hit this, fell over there, and landed on the table. So that's why it's over there. Everyone's asked me about my critter that I had in here. I did capture the squirrel. And that's the end of the story. Yeah, squirrel's no longer in here, and I haven't had an issue since. I got him probably about, like, two weeks ago. So um, that is perfect. And no, I did not use a sticky trap. I literally, so this is what I did. I used that have a heart trap. I hate those sticky traps. I had this trap right there over there, and uh, I didn't get him. And then whatever I was in here last, I was working on here, whatever time it was, and I saw him again standing up there. So I put the trap up there, which... There's really not that much space you can put a trap on this, but I put it up there and it didn't fall over and he got trapped in there. And that's the end of the story. And I got him and I probably saw him like a day later. So no, I did not like leave him in there for like seven days. That'd be awful. Um, but yeah, no more squirrels, no more walnuts in here. Anyway, it's been fun. Thanks for tagging along again. Uh, it's been a long day for myself, but... It's been a great day. Sold a bunch. Came home with maybe like one and a half boxes of stuff. And uh, thanks for tagging along. If you guys enjoy, hit the like button. Subscribe down below. Stay tuned for more treasure hunts. Stay tuned for those storage units. They should be fun. And uh, whatever else we might get into this week. So uh, thanks for tagging along. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.